I have no idea when this connects. <laughs> no idea. This is, uh, I notice that when people do live streams, sometimes they're, they're looking and they're like, are we, are we connected? Are we connected? You know, they, they talk and say something like that. So I'm going to play something uh, to see if I can figure out until we know that we're live. Let's see, what should we play here? I'm going to play a chord progression. Let's see, I'm going to do D minor. Let's see. Uh, I didn't plan this out very well. A minor, G, F. Or we could do, let's see, F sharp minor. Hold on, let's do this one. Let's do F sharp minor to uh, D. No, 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 I'm sorry. E minor to D to C to back to uh, E minor. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, one. my loop. Starting on E minor. Hey, hello, Mike. Bad echo, huh? Is that better? I'm going to turn down something over there. Let me know if you see an echo now. E minor. Okay, so what I've done is I've set up an E minor to a D chord to a C chord, back to D, back to E minor. Now one thing we can do is we can actually... play a pentatonic scale on that E minor chord. use a pentatonic scale uh, on just that chord progression, E minor, D, and C. Now, if you want to do something else, you could just play the E minor scale like that and just play with that scale. There we go. did there was I just thought about the E minor scale, not the pentatonic, but the E minor. Okay, so um, now another thing you can do is you can use arpeggios. Now on an E minor chord, let me put something on the screen here. Here's an E minor chord. There we go. You'll notice that the open E and the B and the E, and then we have three more notes, the open strings, like that. The G and the B and the E, just like that. Now the G, B, and the E are just a complete E minor chord, so you could play those notes. Right, and just play those notes as a part of that. E minor chord. And then when you get to the C chord, or excuse me, the D chord, you could use a D chord like this. I like to explore neighbor notes, notes above that, and then notes above that too. And then sometimes explore other notes. 
Okay, let me do that. E minor. The D chord. Now the C chord. Back to the D chord. Now we're back to E minor again, so I play the E note way up there on the 12th fret. Let's see. Let's look and see. There's the D major chord. So those are the notes. You've got D and A and D and F sharp. Hello, Bob. Hello, Dean. <laughs> How you doing? Anybody else have an echo? I noticed that Mike said he had an echo. Bob, you experiencing any kind of echo or Dean? Let me know on the uh, on the comments there. Okay, now let's do let's take those chords that E minor chord. Right, I'm just playing part of it. Let me play it up here on the twelfth fret too. Um, and let's see this the D chord. You know, a D chord bar chord like this. There's an A major chord, right? These bar chords built on the A chord. There's a D chord, and then here's a C chord, like that. Well, these three notes, five, five, five. Oh, excuse me, seven, seven, seven. <laughs> okay, like that, right across the D string, G string, and B string. That's the D chord, right? Let's put our tuner on there. If you don't uh, know your notes very well, you can use your tuner. Let's see, let's get my tuner right there, see that? I guess it's gonna be off camera unless I, I turn my camera. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which way to get it on camera. There we go. See, that's, a, that's an A note, and that's a D note, and that's an F sharp. Now if we go down two frets, we get G, C, E, which is a C chord. Right? Let's see, C, D. Now that's an E major chord. We'd have to do E minor like that. It would be a, a B note, an E note, and a G note. If we go right across like this, like on the A major chord there on the screen, that's a major chord. Oh, I didn't put a minor chord, but um, uh, let's turn that off just for a second because that could be a little distracting. So just like an A minor chord like this, if you're going to use those three notes for a, an arpeggio, then you want to go right across. If it's minor, you want to use that A minor shape. All right, let's do that loop again and, and find out some notes in an arpeggio to use with, uh, to improvise. Here comes the C chord. Back to D. again. Oops, I think I did a loop there. It's coming up right now. Dum, dum, D. Let's talk about that just for a second. I was playing these three notes right across on the seventh fret. There we go. Maybe back off a bit. Morning everyone, no echo. Mic is a bit overdriven. Check, test, check. Oh, you know it is. Thanks for letting me know, guys. Okay, that should be better. That should be better. Okay. All right, all right, all right, I get it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mike should be better now. 
What was I saying? Oh yeah, I remember now. Oh, that, that guitar's a little hot. Let's turn that down a little bit. There we go, there we go. Maybe back off a little bit there. Here we go. I'm still learning how to do this. Okay, so your major chord on the seventh fret, right there. There we go. Ah, Bob says it looks good now. Okay, thanks, Bob. These three notes are the same notes as in this D chord. Right there, you can hear it. See that? Same exact thing. These three notes here on the fifth fret are the same as these three notes from the C chord. That's really good to know. Now if you do a D chord two frets up, and then you go up two frets to the ninth fret, see those are the same notes too. So you can keep doing that. See that? Kind of interesting. It's fun to explore the fretboard and to figure out where these notes are and how to play things. D chord. C chord. Now I'm going to go back into thinking about the pentatonic scale. Second position, first position. Oh, okay, when I did that loop. There we go. C chord. chord, bar chord right there back into the pentatonic scale, okay, one more thing before we go, and then we'll go over to Rock Out Loud for my supporters, thank you for being here, okay, guess what, oh, you know, I forgot what I was going to do, <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Uh, I had a great idea. At least I, it seemed like a great idea at the time um, when, we, when I was thinking about it and I was playing. I was thinking, oh, I need to do that. All right, tell you what, I'm going to stop here. Thank you for being here. We'll switch over to Rock Out Loud. Bob, Dean, Dave, appreciate you guys very much. And Mike, thanks for being here very much. It's really great to have you guys and to you know help me out with this uh getting the live stream going, uh, and all the other supporters that I have over at Patreon and Subscribestar, and uh, those people that actually support me just from getting in touch with me on um, lessonswithhal at gmail.com, and also through PayPal, because I have a few supporters that just donate there, and then I give them my book, my Quest Studios uh, lead sheet and uh, theory mm -hmm. book, which is combined right now. All right, we'll talk to you later. Let's uh let's close this. Thanks very much for being here. We'll see you soon. <laughs>